Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, May 3rd. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather stays very warm for the foreseeable future. Maybe a few showers Saturday, but not much in the way of rain for a while. Let's check it out. Big trough in the west again this morning. I produced more severe weather across parts of the Great Plains last night and this morning. Big storms still rumbling. Uh, this is the radar showing severe storms located west of Wichita Falls, Texas. In fact, uh, the town of Vernon, Texas, under a tornado warning. That was a radar at 504. But things are quiet here. 50s for East Alabama, Alexander City and Fort Payne, 54. Birmingham and the city at 66. We go back in the 80s today. And around the nation, the warmer air continues to spread over the eastern half of the country. Washington, D.C. hit 90 yesterday for the first time this season. There's the wash warning map, seeing some flash flood watches around Chicago. Winter storm warnings for parts of the mountains of Colorado and Wyoming. There's the severe weather risk for today and tonight. We have an enhanced risk, again, including Kansas City up into parts of Iowa. The broader risk of severe storms stretching all the way from Texas to New England. But all of that north and west of Alabama, the tornado probabilities are higher today. Oh, and that enhanced risk, parts of Iowa, Missouri, and northeastern Kansas. Tomorrow, the big trough shears out. Just a couple of marginal risks north and west of here. And on day three, this is Saturday, you see parts of Alabama with green. That means there could be some thunder, but severe weather, no. In fact, we expect no severe weather issues here for at least the next 10 days. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Bigger rain amounts, again, well to the west and north of here. In Alabama, no rain at all for the next seven days. For places like Mobile, Gulf Shores, Pensacola, Monroeville, Jackson. Amounts for Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, under a quarter of an inch. Not much at all. Better rains up near the Tennessee Valley, and even there, they'll be under one inch. So, model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 06C run, 1 o'clock this afternoon. You can see how the trough beginning to shear out and lift north. We have the ridge here. For us, the day will be warm and dry, partly to mostly sunny with mid-80s. Storms north and west of here. Tomorrow, again, the system weakens and lifts north. The front north and west of the state, we stay warm and dry. We'll call it partly sunny, and again, mid-80s are likely. And Saturday, that front just kind of drifts in here. And that could kick off a few scattered rain showers, but I just don't think it rains that much. Uh, this is the high-resolution NAM at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon, showing a few showers over northeast Alabama. So understand, is there a chance of rain Saturday? Yes. Will it rain that much? Probably not. And it's certainly not going to rain all day. The sun should be out at times. We'll say a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Storms rather scattered in nature. Showers and storms scattered and random. And again, the high Saturday, I'd say, would be in the low 80s. We stay warm. And for South Alabama, I think it stays totally dry. Now, this is Sunday. That looks mostly dry. Uh, the sky partly sunny with highs again in the low 80s. We'll hang on to a slight chance of a shower with that weak boundary that's in the process of losing its identity. Monday, warm and dry. Sky mostly sunny with low 80s. Same thing Tuesday and really the same thing Wednesday. The ridge holds go to Thursday of next week Again, the main wave action up in Canada and again that looks just warm and dry we'll go out there 10 days this is Saturday May 12th the ridge builds all across the deep south and again warm and dry here's the QPF for the next 10 days the uh, this is out to 240 hours off the GFS and you can see it's trying to spit out maybe an inch up near the Tennessee state line, but you go down to Birmingham, one-tenth of an inch and nothing, basically, for the southern half of the state. It's a very calm, dry pattern for most of Alabama. And we stay warm with the ridge. Like again, the GFS ensemble trying to push us up there toward 90. 
toward the middle part of May. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.